This Kelo Land Living segment is sponsored by Johnson Brothers of South Dakota. Operating since 1980, Johnson Brothers of South Dakota is the state's leading wine, spirits, and craft beer distributor with local headquarters based in Sioux Falls. It's not often you hear someone referred to as an absolute legend in the world of whiskey, but that is exactly who you are about to meet. Brian Nation with Keeper's Heart Whiskey is joining us in the studio today, along with Tracy Lambert, the general manager at Willikers, a local retailer of the Keeper's Heart brand. They're here to tell us more about Keeper's Heart and why you probably want to buy a bottle for yourself or a co-worker or friend who, who want a unique drinking experience like no other. This is exciting because you are a legend in, in whiskey. You are. <laughs> <laughs> and I even your reputation preceded you, as, as I was talking to people even this weekend about you being in town and how exciting it is because you've really got a lot of experience. Can you just give us a little bit of um, how you got here? Yeah, so I've spent over 20 Listen years working. Uh, <laughs> born and reared in Ireland okay. uh, in, a, in a city called Cork. Um, and I spent over 23 years working for a company called Irish Distillers who actually made brands like Jameson, the Spot Range, Middleton Very Rare and all of these, these type of uh, uh, very, very well-known Irish whiskey brands. And I was master distiller for seven years there before I left in 2020 to come here and be involved in building a brand from the ground up, namely Keeper's Heart. And it has won tons of awards. It has. We've been, we've been really, really, I suppose, blessed and amazed by the number of awards that our whiskey has actually gained over the last kind of three years. And a lot of that is down to because of such a unique taste. It's bringing the best of both Irish and American distilling traditions together and whiskey making traditions together by blending what you see in front of you, Irish whiskey with American whiskey. And then also at our distillery, we're actually distilling American whiskey in the in their uh, quintessential Irish style of triple copper pot distillation. Which I now know is my next visit. Triple to copper yeah. pot distillation. It's amazing. <laughs> so speaking of taste, we're going to taste a few. So maybe yeah. you can start with one so we can Absolutely. start to get that flavor. So the first whiskey we're going to taste is Keeper's Heart Irish Plus American, which is a blend of Irish pot still whiskey, um, Irish grain whiskey, and American rye whiskey. And this is the first time you get to taste the richness of an Irish pot still coupled with the spiciness of a rye whiskey. And this okay. is something that is totally unique in that what you're getting is you get an initial kick of rice spice that will be quickly followed by the herbal earthiness of Irish pot still. So totally unusual to get those flavors in one whiskey. I don't even know what pot still, Irish pot still means. So Irish pot still is the quintessential style of Irish okay. whiskey and it's made using a mash bill of malted barley and unmalted barley. Mm -hmm. And then it's distilled three times in copper pot stills. And well, and I, this has won like all kinds of national awards. Like, you just swooped in and just said, hey, yeah, and you're it, winning everything. It was great because it, it was actually the, the fastest growing um, craft brand in 2022. So for us to be the biggest selling brand for the last 25 years in, in Keeper's Heart, using Keeper's Heart Irish Plus American was amazing for us to, to attain. And the award just kept on coming in because of the flavor, because of the packaging, because of everything that we've done in putting this fantastic whiskey together. This has a ton of flavor. It I, has. And it really, you want to sit with it, I think, because the flavor really evolves as I'm drinking it. Absolutely. And that, that's the beauty about having a lovely complex whiskey is that nice. there's so many flavors there. They begin to take you on a journey as it sits and evolves in the glass. Yeah. You know, I'm a, and when it comes to whiskey, I drink beer, but this is really good. Yeah. yeah. It's really good. It, it's, uh, it's smooth. Takes you on a, and it has yeah. this flavor, then this flavor. You can, I mean, I want to sit next to a fireplace with this and just sort of sip it, right? Like, and that's the, that's the beauty, that's the beauty <clears throat> of these whiskies is that they're very, very versatile. So drinking it neat or on the rocks, it brings you, you know, it opens up the flavors. You get all of this beautiful influence of the rye, the Irish pot still, and even the, the beautiful sweetness of the, yeah. of the grain whiskey. I was going to say, I get really a sharp, a sharpness, like a brightness. Yeah, yeah. And then it really, it really turns sweet to me. It does, it does. And that's because of the, the blend, really, the blend. And, and people, kind of didn't, I suppose didn't expect that that influence of Irish and American or that blending of Irish and American whiskies would work. But it gives you an extra dimension of flavor and taste that you wouldn't get with 100% Irish or 100% American well, whiskey. 
I want to just do a ton of name dropping. How do you drink this whiskey? Well, for me, I love drinking this whiskey neat. Okay. Um, but I also love the versatility aspect of it as well because it is so versatile that it works extremely well in an old fashioned. And that's one of our, our whiskies, our cocktails of choice mm -hmm. when we actually go out into market. And bartenders and mixologists actually love using Keeper's Heart Irish Plus American because of its versatility. Yeah, it really but would be great in an old fashioned. At Thanksgiving, I'll say, when I was talking to Brian Nation, <laughs> yeah. you know, we usually just have it neat is what we do. Yes. I'll just do that name drop, kaboom. You right. have another one that you um, want us to try too, I, I have, think. yeah. And while you're getting that poor Tracy, he's going to be available for people to have like oh, this yes, conversation yes. in depth tomorrow. Lead. This yeah. is good. Yeah. So yeah. While you get Brian that. will be in the store tomorrow at 4.30 till 6.30. So you'll have a chance to try all these for yourself. And we'll have a couple extra ones. We actually have our own barrel finished in maple syrup that we did with them. They'll be there to try. And there's a couple other unique expressions wow. as well. Okay, wow. Okay, so what is this one? So this is our Irish plus bourbon edition. Oh, so okay. this is now a blend of Irish pot still whiskey, Irish grain whiskey, and bourbon. And the beauty about this is that it's actually very bourbon forward. Mm -hmm. And that was done intentionally in order to give people, particularly whiskey drinkers who are very loyal to bourbon, the comfort factor of getting all of that bourbon influence, but then it's the influence of the Irish whiskey on the mid palate that really makes this a, a different whiskey and quite a surprise in terms of flavor. Yeah. And it does elongate the finish as well. And it really has gone down very well among bourbon whiskey drinkers that, you know, wanted to try something different yeah, but right. still have that bourbon influence. It definitely, um, I like the way you described it as elongated flavor because yeah. it really stays with you, but it say keeps it, changing. Say it, say it your way, elongated. Elongated <laughs> finish, oh. you know? <laughs> and I have to say, as typically a bourbon um, lover, I, I, they're both great, but I, like I didn't need the bourbon forward to love the other whip, yeah. you know what I mean? Like this one has such a sweet and bright component, and this one it gives me a little bit more bourbon, a little bit maybe more herby, I don't know. And I think that's the beauty of the two releases is because it actually is, you have different people will enjoy different whiskey styles, and that's for us is great because if everybody just want the, like one version, then we shouldn't have done the other. But the fact that we've got a very good split throughout the country wow. of people liking the rye over the bourbon or vice versa, that's been fantastic for us. And Gift a, idea yeah. for the holiday. All Absolutely. And Absolutely. how is single malt different? So this is this actually is a fully 100% Irish whiskey. So this is 10 okay. year old single malt okay. that we sourced from Great Northern Distillery in Ireland. And it came through an old distillery called Cooley. And we finished it in Malaga wine barrels, which is a sweet Spanish dessert wine. And actually, I love you to taste it because this was voted world's best Irish whiskey in ah, 2023. This is the one. By the San Francisco right. International okay, Spirits right. Competition. Here we go. Here we go. I'm ready. And what we've done here is oh, oh, you want oh, this oh, one? We, so what we've time. almost so I want to taste oh, it. I'll have to just take the bottle I'll with me. It. So All what right, we've so. done here is basically to try and lift the mouthfeel and to try and bring uh, a little bit of additional flavor compared to the DNA of the malt. That's the deep. Malaga wine has brought some beautiful mm. almond nutty mm. flavors. That's got a lot of complexity, hasn't it? Yeah, and weight and depthness to it. I love that. Absolutely. All right. Well, I'm a fan of all of them, <laughs> so I'll be there to enjoy your presence too and learn some more from you. Thank you and very much. Thank you for being here. Johnson Brothers of South Dakota suppliers include global leaders like Keeper's Heart Whiskey and the newest craft brands in the wine, beer, and spirits industries. The South Dakota headquarters at Sioux Falls are located at 300 East 50th Street North, and you can reach them anytime by phone at 605-336-2828 or online at johnsonbrothersofsd.com. This Kettle Land Living segment has been sponsored by Johnson Brothers of South Dakota. Operating since 1980, Johnson Brothers of South Dakota is the state's leading wine, spirits, and craft beer distributor with local headquarters based in Sioux Falls.